Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this makeup look for you guys. Is this really like brownish look? This look is really simple. I only use three eyeshadows like yeah it's really really easy so i'm not gonna do a lot of talking if you guys like this um look this video give it a thumbs up and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below so we can be best friends forever don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys could be notified when i upload a new video and without further ado let's just get right into the video the video 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 Video, video, yo. I already did my eyebrows, moisturized my face, and primed my face. Now I'm gonna jump right into foundation. I'm using the Marc Jacobs foundation in this shade Cocoa Light. I'm gonna use the Tarte Shade Tape Concealer in the shade 10 to highlight my face. There's a lot going on on my forehead today, and I can barely blend it. I'm looking extra light right now, but we're gonna bring some color back to the face. I'm gonna use this LA Girl Pro Concealer in this shade Dark Cocoa to Concealer. I'm using a tiny bit because this is really dark. That's good. Good. I'm not even contouring my, my forehead because, as you guys can see, it's pretty short. Look at that. Yeah, there's nothing to contour. So. Now I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my face. I'm gonna my smile lines because never I smile I have these harsh lines that are creasing my makeup. You guys, it's crazy. I'm gonna set my whole face like slightly. Just blend everything into my skin. I'm gonna use my Black Radiance Contour Palette to contour my face. Because I'm still looking a little ashy right now, and I don't like that. I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer, and this is from Revolution. I'm gonna carve out my cheeks. I'm gonna brush the excess powder away. I'm not gonna let it sit so it doesn't create a harsh line. Really subtle. I'm gonna use a little bit of that blush from Wet n Wild. Guys, this blush is so cheap and it's so good. So pigmented, so good. See? A little bit up, but it's already shown. I don't like a lot of blush anyway, so. Hmm. Showing up. This is more than enough for me. Turn it down a bit because. Mm -mm. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. And I'm gonna use um, bronze. This one is my favorite, you guys. I love it. I'm gonna put a little bit on my color bomb. I'm gonna use a lighter one, like summer. I'm gonna use a little bit of summer mixed with it so it could show up. So it's not showing up. I'm gonna 
gonna use a tiny bit of summer on my cheeks as well. Like the tiniest bit, you guys. Before I move on to my eyes, I'm gonna spray my face with my MAC Fix Plus. Guys, look at this. It's it's finished. I need to go buy some more. That's why I finished, because I use so much. <laughs> For my eyes, I'm gonna use my Morphe 3502 palette. I'm gonna start with chestnut, and I'm gonna apply it like all over my lid. Well, all over my crease, and a little bit above my crease. I'm gonna use Brave on my crease. I'm gonna use Brunette. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Brunette on my lid. Now I'm gonna blend the color I just put on my lids with my crease color. I'm gonna apply brunette and brave on my lower lash line. I'm gonna start with brunette. It's gonna be closer to my lash line. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my highlighter on my inner corners and on my brow bone. For my lips, I'm gonna use this lip liner from Ruby Kisses in the shade Berry Gem, and I'm gonna use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Berlin. I love NYX lip stuff, they smell so good. So good. I'm gonna apply some mascara and some lashes off camera and then I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 